Maddie, tell us about your relationship with Anusha. Has it changed over the years? And if so, how? Okay. You know, we got a special bond, me and Anusha. Mm. Ever, ever since he was, she was born, right? Mm. I knew it because the day she came home, she looked at me and I see the face and she smiled. So oh. you can imagine, you know, so from that day onwards, I said, yeah, we got something special here, right? Oh. And then being a, being a single dad and, a, and a, being a musician, mm. right? She's actually the driving force for me. Right? Oh. Or whatever whatever I, I've made of myself or what it's all her. Right? You yeah. do realize that the way you love her and how amazing you are as a dad is actually just ruined her chances of finding a partner in life. Because <laughs> like the pedestal is up there <laughs> and everybody else. This is, is down the here. bar, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is the bar and you'll never reach it. No one will ever love me the way I need to be loved, except one person. Uh. <laughs> no, I, I used to tell her, I used to tell my friends, yeah, whoever she brings got to go through me. Oh, man. <laughs> and then got to go through my Rottweiler. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you like the guy, it's okay. <laughs> okay. So you're one of those dads that has like the shotgun ready whenever the guy comes over for the date and everything. Two and then... shotgun <laughs> <laughs> uh, And then you and I have got to talk because I'm uh, pretty much the same about my son. So wow, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, get, I'll get some tips from you later. Um, so tell me, does Anusha always come to you for advice? Yeah. She, okay, this, we got stages, right? When she's growing up young, she come to me, start, you know, problems, start crying and all that. Aww. And I, I have to be hard. I had to be a bit hard on her because, I mean, you got to be strong. Yeah. Growing up, you need to be strong, right? Mm. So uh, sometimes it, it makes me being hard, you know, she cries and I tell her, are you crying for what? You know, your crying is not going to solve anything, right? So mm. let's see how we can solve this, whatever you got, la, instead of crying, right? Mm. And then later on when she's, no, and I, oh, it's like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, almost like, shouting to her, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right? It's the, it's the father thing. Yeah. But after a while, you realize, hey, she's growing up and this thing don't work. <laughs> yes, you, it's the, it's the you, parental hell of always having to mix up how you actually uh, deal with the All right, place. so your, your relationship has to evolve, is it? Mm. Yeah, yeah. So when, when she gets she's older a bit, you try not to do that, what you did before. You try more talking, uh -huh. right? I'm listen, talking and listening, not just telling your side, but listening to. Mm. Yeah. So this, this is what, uh, what happens with us, like even till today. Mm. Yeah? Okay. You're gonna make me cry. Um, so <laughs> what I'm hearing from you is that part of your approach to sort of, I guess, communicating with her is listening is a big part, but also changing up your style to sort of suit who she is as she's on this journey growing up yeah, yeah, as an individual. It. Yeah, that's um, it. What else has been your approach when it comes to sort of counseling her, especially about the sort of more difficult when, yeah, when, when she was younger time, mine was reverse psychology, you know? Okay. <laughs> Psych her out. If I wanted to do something, I tell her don't. I know she'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, now you just need sense about what my dad right, used to right, do. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and you know, we, I used to take her, she loves, loves to do her hair. Mm. So I'll take her to somewhere, hairdresser, you know, maybe a kilometer away from my house, you know. The problem is on the way back. Oh. She wants to be carried, right? <laughs> so I'll just play, like, play a game with her. I said, okay, you see that lamppost there? Okay, let's see who can reach it first, right? Mm. So I'll make her win. I'll make her win. Next thing you know, we are home. All right. I love it. So you, you basically, you know, what you did is actually a really very interesting way of handling life. It's called gamification. And when you gamify things in increments, 
everybody wins and it's such a really good positive way of doing it and you were doing it back then and you probably didn't even think about the fact that you were doing mm. that no i didn't want to carry her that's why i had to come <laughs> that's the bottom line right here <laughs> accidental smart parenting um can you share a story of a time when anusha had to make a major decision in life and how you know you talked her through it and what she ended up doing at the end just to get an idea of the kind of relationship and communication you guys have okay i think a few years ago she had a offer to go and work in new york wow right? and i i actually didn't like it mm. not because i know like new york is not safe and she's going there on her own mm -hmm. you know i was i was actually quite worried like you know so i'm trying to tell her this tell her that then you know we i travel so much yeah actually she used to travel so much when she was was younger she used to go to all the tours with me oh. so i used to tell her like hey home is still the best mm. wherever you travel home is still the best you know where can you get one dollar nasi lemak <laughs> or, or the weather right mm. people nice home every time you travel you know of course sometimes you 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 want to you want to go out right but when you go out you want to come back it's always so, nice to come back home yeah yeah, home. yeah 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 so i i try to tell her don't go but in the end she decided to go and so i support her right she didn't go once she went came back home and she went again <laughs> so i mean this this time whatever i advise her but i got to respect her because of what she already got what she wants to do uh -huh. right in the mind so we, if we cannot change her mind we have to support her mm. right yeah. is she very much like you uh in, not really <laughs> <laughs> I'm, i'm being nice <laughs> <laughs> but basically it's all about like you can't tell her all about safety issues your concerns and whatnot ultimately yeah. you let her make the decisions she's not really looking for a, approval yeah. but she's more like yeah. looking for blessing i suppose yeah yeah that's it that's yeah. it you know so she got a mind made up okay good go get all the experience that you need right like for me sometimes life is like this i keep telling her like when when i was younger at the moment you think you are right huh. Right at that moment, you are right mm. with whatever decision that you make. But when you get older, you think back of it. No, you weren't right. Yeah. But in other, but it's not your fault because at that moment, you were right. You mm. were not fooling yourself. For yourself, I'm right. Right. This is the way it should be done. But later on, after all, I mean, you go through life and you said, "Hey, that wasn't right." But it's not my fault because at that time, I was right. No. So yeah, but sometimes you need to go through some of those phases oh. to learn yeah. what was wrong and what was right also in a way right yeah mm. or you need to kind of go this is right for me and it's so wrong but actually by virtue of it being wrong you mm. land up figuring out what's really right as well yeah yeah, yeah. that's true yeah all roads <laughs> lead to rome i believe yeah, you you need to be honest with yourself mm. you can fool a lot of people but you cannot fool yourself you know what i mean yeah. yes yeah. very yeah. true yes <laughs> Okay, so going from that to this, what was your first reaction when you found out that Anusha was planning on freezing her eggs? Like, what were some of your biggest concerns there? First time when she told me, I froze. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I didn't freeze then. <laughs> when she told me the how much it cost, then I froze. <laughs> right, right, okay. <laughs> yeah. Wait, but how, how did she tell you though? Did she just walk up to you and just tell you, or what? You know when we met, like like I'm I'm actually staying in PD, for Dixon. Right. Okay. Oh, so least, lovely. So, so twice a week I come here. When I come here, we get together for breakfast or for lunch, mm -hmm. do whatever I need to do. Then I go back. You know. Mm -hmm. So at one of that that days, she told me about it, right? My did she did she call you and say that this weekend when we meet up, uh, I've got something to tell you. 
does that make it worse when she she says something like that? Oh, oh no, it's gonna be big. No, she just said, "Hey, I, I want to talk to you about something, mm. right?" So I I don't know what it is. So I I we got together and just see what she had to say. But my concern actually was the safety. Mm -hmm. I talk about safety, whether you know there's any. You know, after you do it, anything risk. You know, like risk or whatever. That was my my main mm. concern, right? Mm. But for her to decide something like this, it's a big decision, right? And I'm sure she's she. I mean, research and all that. And I I I know I know people who are in this line, and they they told me so. A woman, they got a certain until a certain age, mm. right? Thirty five. After that, is a bit risky. Maybe different. Some people can go to forty, but most of the time thirty-five, right? So what she's doing is 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 she's not forcing herself to go and look for somebody, you mm -hmm. know, just to get a kid, right? Yeah. So there's something good that she's doing. But you mentioned something about the 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 cost that freaked you out, though. Were you yeah, yeah, yeah. concerned <laughs> for her about that? No, I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> Were you relieved when she said, "Don't worry, Dad, I'm paying for it myself"? <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, I bought like, a lunch. I bought a lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you didn't have eggs. <laughs> oh wow! No, that was for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Um, so, how much did you know about egg freezing before this? I mean, you said you knew some people who um, had already sort of been. Or you had already known about the age of 35 and stuff, but how, what else did you know? Yeah, okay. When you talk about eggs, I mean, the first thing that came to my mind was Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson? What? You know, Explain you, you that. Know, you, uh, uh, because at that time... Oh, with his, got, his children, his in yeah, children. Right. So he got somebody to, you know what I mean? Yes, the, the nurse. The night, you know? Yes, yes. Right, so first thing that came to my mind was that. <laughs> well, wow. as a musician, that's a good reference point. Well done, Daddy. Five points. <laughs> and, then, and then she, and then Nusha explained to me actually how, why, and then it's not really a guarantee because it depends. You can freeze the eggs, but whether they'll be okay or not when you mm. need them, you know, right? So, okay, that's that's how I I. Knew about this, uh, and it's, mm. I mean, to this technology, why not? Yep. Right. Yeah. And so, you know, thinking about what your perceptions or understanding were then when she first had the conversation with you to yeah. where they are now, um, as you've sort of followed her along this journey of her starting all of this off, what's changed? Has anything changed? Oh, uh, not. Not really, because what she told me was what is going to happen to her, uh. right? So that one takes stages to do it. So it's for me, nothing changed. It just it's just got to go through the stages. She went for whatever checkup, whatever things did it. Okay, everything is okay. I now go to the next stage, right? Mm. So so far, it's like that. That that's all I know. Whatever she tells me. Mm. Um, okay. I'm just trying to figure out, like, at what point did you go? What do you mean you need to freeze your eggs? You're still a uh, young woman. You're 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 16 years old, or 18 years old. You're 35, and at this, at which point did you go? Wow, my daughter's not that young anymore. Yeah, actually, me too. You know why? On the birthday, she had a birthday on the eighth. Yeah, I bought her a cake, and I don't know why. I only got 25 candles. <laughs> I mother, left. I a... missed out 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So when she tells you, I'm getting on already, I'm a bit concerned about my eggs, you're like, what do you mean? You're 25, right? <laughs> you're still there, right? Yeah. But I, I think this is something brave of her. It's quite brave to do things like, you know what I mean? But I'm sure she researched and, you know, you want to have a baby. You want to, like, like I, I tell her now, okay, you want to do this? Okay, now you got to look after your health. Mm. Make sure you're okay, right? Okay, mm. for you when when it's time, everything is fine, right? Mm. I, uh, I, I think that a, 
a lot of girls don't have this kind of relationship with their dads and that's super sad because listening to you talking about the kind of relationship you have with her it's it's super special so perhaps for them for them to hear um for them to even give themselves permission um to kind of step in to sort of more of this kind of role i wonder if you could tell me why it was why it was important for you to support anusha's um decision to freeze her eggs and what kind of support you've actually shown her along the way i mean it's a decision right and you got you cannot find anything that's wrong about it right if you can find something is wrong about it of course i'll be arguing with her to now uh. right but and then what she doing is something wow i mean a lot of other people should think about these things you know what i mean right you don't want to go oh i need to get married when i'm 40 and yeah. then i think about getting a kid but then it's quite unfair because you don't the kid might not be you know mm -hmm. uh so when you know damn it if you can do that and then you can get even get married when you are 45 or so i mean you know if your kid if your eggs mm -hmm. are still good So basically you 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 kind of applaud and and support her practicality around yeah. as you taught yeah. her when she was younger that hard love that's like stop crying about it let's find a solution basically yeah. she's doing what you taught her when she was little and she's finding a solution to an apparent problem she sees um that she's kind of overlooked in life yeah yeah no i i mean these things you can't say maybe this year she might find somebody mm -hmm. right? yeah these things you cannot say but so like, oh. andy andy you know in the past you know have you guys had any kind of falling out because she sort of made a decision based on beliefs that you don't share like you can see the merit in this you can see the value in what she's doing now but what if it was something that didn't jive jive well with you how have you two ironed something like that out uh we like certain things like certain people like she okay let's go to like, like certain people that she's friends with you know what i mean sometimes because i've been in the business quite long mm -hmm. and i can see through people sometimes you know right but then she's still young so she but how how do you tell somebody things like that you just have to sit back and see where you can guide her this and that you know i don't want to go into an argument right you know because you're arguing with like two different things she don't understand but you already been through things like this you know what i mean so we just yes. sit back and hold where it's time to come in we come in oh wait this is when she was hanging on the, the wrong crowd and everything is it so you not the wrong crowd i mean when she was young oh. she was what she was about 10 years old is on oh i see it's right right no no when but no but no i'm talking about when she was that time mm. yeah. we go anywhere she used to follow me on tours and all that we go all over the world right mm. and you know when you're in a group you yes. and this and that there's a lot of vulgarity going on yeah yeah right mm. right so for me to her is like you can't escape from this mm. right you hear it everywhere but as long as you don't use it i'm okay i right? love that because you were teaching her look this is the environment but you got yeah. to be who you are and hold on to yeah. your values mm -hmm. and be yeah. who yeah. you want to be yeah. especially and most importantly in amongst a, an environment that doesn't uh yeah. you know mirror that like you got 10 people there right oh. and nine are doing something that is not right yeah you don't have to join in yeah are you not joining in they will have more respect for you then uh mm. joining in oh this is such a good dad you're going to make me cry here so <laughs> i'm going to go ahead and ask this right <laughs> i said it before not all parents are accepting of the major life choices that their children make mm. even though those choices can be incredibly positive and empowering for the kids we see it all too often right what would you say to such parents to encourage them to support their children what's your advice to the parents okay 
Like Nusha, she's, she will still be my baby girl, right? But baby girl, girls grow up. And then as a parent, you must know how to handle them, the stages that they grow up, right? Like now, now she's a, she's a lady. She's a young lady, right? So listen to what they got to say. Don't just open your mouth and don't just start, no. You know what I mean? Listen to what they can say, right? And you think you've got something, maybe you can advise them that might change their mind, go ahead, right? But you must understand they already grown up, they got their own mind, they know what is best for themselves, right? Yeah, so that's that's the advice that I give parents, listen, listen to what, your baby girl is telling you she's no more baby girl than she's grown up already, right? Uh, so this is the thing. This is sort of thing, simple, right? Simple things. Listen. It's never complicated, is it? It's just listen. Yeah. Um, You're amazing, Dad. Yeah. Oh, where's the cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. And yeah, I think parents need to realize that they're not always right. In every aspect, yeah. it's okay to yeah. just be wrong in yeah, some, in the other. Uh, I used to like sometimes we we we, we get into argument or for, for certain things like You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, that's because normal. One, again, argument, and then after a while, I mean, I go back home and I'll think like, hey, she's right. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But at at that moment, I'm not saying anything. So you what know? do you do? Do you call her and say, actually, you were right, lah? You you're like. Oh. No, <laughs> I just keep it to myself. <laughs> Smart man. <laughs>